Hey guys, today we have a 2019 Toyota Highlander, and we're gonna do a test fit of the Thule Range 4 bike rack. Now this is a hitch mounted bike rack that goes into your two inch by two inch hitch receiver. It's a hanging style rack, so it's gonna grip your bike by the top tube of the frame. We see over here, we have two straps securing the top tube. Just pull those down, get them really tight in there and snug. The third point of contact, it's gonna be down here with our anti-sway cradle with that strap securing it. It takes away a lot of the unnecessary, unnecessary movement. You can see it still does move, but not near as much without the strap. It's gonna help prevent a lot of bike to bike contact and bike to vehicle contact. We do have an onboard cable lock, which comes from the base right here. You pull that up, come over your bikes, and this will work with all four bikes loaded. You go into this slot right here, and you take your included key, lock it up, and then when you're done, Unlock it, pull the, pull the cable out, and it stows right inside that mass so it's out of sight, out of mind. Now a really cool feature about this bike rack is that it is, it is motorhome approved. The way it's constructed, it's made out of solid steel. It's got bigger and stronger hardware. It's gonna be able to handle those trips a lot better than your standard hanging style racks which aren't made from all steel. You can just feel the arms right here, I just steel, steel. Down there, we're gonna have a reinforced bracket, which I'll show you guys in a minute. Let's go ahead and take the bike off so we can take a closer look at the rack and its construction. Pretty easy to do so. We're just gonna pull the straps out. Straps operate just like any other bike rack. Just push the tab and pull the strap out. Now we'll get them all off and we can unload the bike. Now that's another cool thing you saw the bike come right over those straps. Tui made these straps pretty flexible. You can see even though they're, sto they're stowed away like that, they're locked up, you can still come right over top of them, those thicker rubber or plastic straps. Those will cut, tend to be a hassle to try to get over because they're so thick and they're so stiff that you just have to like, move your way around. With these, just go right over top. Even though it makes a lot of noise, you're not gonna have to worry about it. I always like to replace my straps when I'm done just so it looks a little bit nicer. You can always leave them undone if you choose, just personal preference. Now with any hitch mounted accessory, you are gonna have added length to your vehicle. In the case of our Highlander, we're gonna measure from our bumper to the outermost point of our bike rack to see how much we've added on. We've added on about 41 inches to the back of our vehicle. We can cut down on that space just by folding these arms down. There's a gray latch up here. We're just gonna pull up on it. Just let the arms come down. And then you're gonna hear an audible click which is pretty loud. Tilly likes to have those loud audible clicks in all of their products to make sure you know when everything is locked in place. Just like that, you know it's locked. Let's measure again, see how much we took off. Bumper to the outermost point, it's 14 inches. We took off a considerable amount of space. That's something you wanna keep in mind for any close quarter situations like parking. Now, like I said, if we come in close, we're just gonna see like down here, this bracket that's connecting the shank and the upright post of our bike rack. It's just very thick, very solid. Like I said, bigger hardware, it's gonna be able to, it's gonna be more durable, especially for those long road trips in any high impacts or big impacts that you might experience. Let's go ahead and measure our ground clearance while we're down here. Right here, we'll measure from the ground up to there. It's gonna be 14 inches, but we are sitting pretty close to the axle, so you shouldn't have too, too much, or too many issues, excuse me, with bottoming out. And we're gonna go ahead and see how it attaches to our hitch. Like I said, this is only gonna be for two inch by two inch hitch receivers. As long as you have one of those, you're gonna be able to use it. We have a threaded hitch pin, which is tightened down. That helps take away the shake and play from our bike rack. And we do have a nice lock on the other side, which is a great theft deterrent. And it is kid like with your onboard cable lock. All in all, it's gonna be a very nice and sturdy bike rack. It's good looking, and you're gonna be able to use it for your RVs and your vehicles. You don't have to get more than one bike rack. This is gonna be able to do the trick for both. Thank you all for watching. That's gonna do it for our test fit, the two-lead range, four bike rack on our 2019 Toyota Highlander.